Welcome back. It is Racer X. Guys, today I am in the 2019 Challenger Scat Pack, our brand new car that I bought for my wife to learn how to drag race. And I just want to make a quick little video about why we chose the 2019 Scat Pack Challenger over essentially the competition, right? Ford Mustang GT, Camaro SS, perhaps some of the German uh, sedans and stuff out there. Something fun for her to learn how to drive, but that's not going to break the bank. So today I wanna to take you through those things. Also, if you are new to the channel, uh, please remember to smack that subscribe button down below. Let's, let's do this. And foremost we are really really enjoying this 2019 scat pack challenger um, I say we both my wife and I drive it um, I actually really really enjoy this car as you guys may know I have a thousand horsepower Bravo package uh, Charger Hellcat and guys I love that car obviously as well but we needed something that wasn't quite so uh, explosive for her to learn how to drive maybe something we can start modding and, and just to add a little bit of a different spin to uh, the channel but really what you know what it boiled down to was well there were several things one we went to test drive the Mustang and some of you guys may have seen that video where Mrs. X had a salesperson in the back of the car she actually street raced another Mustang several times <laughs> she's trying to race people <laughs> on the test drive <laughs> three people in the car it's a good looking 5.0 <laughs> Do it. Go. <laughs> you let him get the jump on us. Damn it, man. She got after it to the fullest extent. And I'll be honest, that car is a nice car, especially for the money. So when it comes to just price per dollar, I think the Mustang is fantastic. It wasn't necessarily right for us. There were a couple of things that were a little concerning. One, the back seat is actually smaller than in the Challenger. I'll tell you that right now. Back seat of the Mustang is actually smaller than in this car. Also, the, the main thing was, I hear a lot of stuff about the engine tick in those cars. And um, I wasn't really interested. I really wanted to make sure we got a 10-speed car for her if we did go for the Mustang. And uh, guys, the 2018 and 2019 Mustangs, you hear about it all the time, about the the problems they're having with those motors and that engine tank, and is it normal, is it not normal? And I don't really fully, you know, a lot, a lot of cars are out there, they're Lemon Law cars. Like, almost all the used 2019 Mustang GTs that we found were, at least in the Fort Worth area, they were all buybacks and, and, and had lemon titles to them. And that's very concerning to me. So I, I really enjoyed the test drive with the 2018 Mustang. Um, it is not quite the same as driving this car, and I want to cover some of those differences. But they are nice cars, but I just couldn't get over the, the engine tick thing, guys. And, that, and you know, with, with so many of those cars being bought back, um, I did not think that was going to be right, at least, you know, long term for us. So that was the main reason we chose to steer away from the Mustang. Also, one of the cars that was kind of in the running for us was the 2018-2019 um, the Camaro SS. Um, I personally really like Chevy products. I think that the SS is a really nice car. I owned a 2010 Camaro that was uh, modified and it was a really fun car to drive. My wife drove the Camaro. We went to look at one. It was actually a really nice car. It was a white and black car. And uh, she drove it. I drove it. Really liked it. Thought she was going to like it wasn't the case. She uh, she said she couldn't see out of it. That was really the main thing. It had a fair amount of um, you know mid torque or I should say mid range torque uh, which is always fun for driving around on the street. So um, you know guys I mean that's the thing is is that uh, she said she just couldn't see out of it. It made her feel uncomfortable and guys it, I will admit it does take some getting used to to drive one of those Camaros. If you're not used to the blind spots in them the windshield in them is actually really small. The rear window is actually really small. Um, the car, I think, drives fine. I mean, it drives great. It's a fun car to drive. There are lots of modifications out there for the uh, for the new Camaros. 
Um, but that was really the big thing to overcome, guys, is just that she said she couldn't see out of the thing. And the, and the window sills in these cars come up really high. It just takes a, a special kind of person to drive those. Not everybody likes them. And ultimately, guys, it wasn't my decision um, in terms of you know what my wife likes or doesn't like. But I mean, that was her main feedback when we went to, um, when we went to drive the Camaro. And um, guys, as you know, I surprised my wife with this car. She actually didn't know I bought it for her. Um, but I will say that this this car feels much more comfortable to us because she loves the Hellcat. It feels very, very familiar, um, you know, in terms of just ergonomics and all that kind of stuff. And I knew she would really, really like it if I got this for her just because of the fit, the finish, the feel of it. Um, you know, so, so while there's nothing wrong with the Mustang, there's nothing wrong with the Camaro, we felt like this thing was the right fit for us. And I want to cover some of the things that we feel like are just fantastic things. Um, about the 2019 Challenger Scat Pack that really kind of sold me on buying this car for her. So I know what some of you guys are out there thinking, right? The Challenger Scat Pack is probably the most expensive of those three cars, especially considering I went with um, the Shaker package, which is a little bit of kind of like a special edition type car. Um, this car stickered at $53,000, right at $53,000. But here's the really cool thing. I actually found this car on a lot where I was getting work done on the Hellcat. I'm sorry, on the Rebel, actually. Getting work done on the Rebel. Walked over to the used car side. They just so happened to have this car there. Had it traded in the night before. Hadn't even been, like, really kind of taken in, so to speak, in terms of just making sure everything was right with the car. And really, it shouldn't even been on the lot. But I, fo I found it. And the car actually only had 1,300 miles on it. Mind you, it's a 2019 with 1,300 miles. The original owner, I guess the car scared him from what I'm told. Um, I guess he just didn't like the little 245 tires that come on it. It's too much power for those tires, which he's right. Um, but anyway, I guess he got sideways once in the car, said, screw it, I'm not going to uh, drive this car anymore. I'm gonna go get a Jeep or something. I don't know what he got. But at any rate, so with 1,300 miles on it, went to trade the car in and I managed to find it. During his time of ownership, which was relatively short, he actually went, did a full ceramic workup on the car. So, I mean, I don't know how many thousands of dollars he dropped, guys, but he did a full ceramic work on the car. He also did a, um, a like full clear bra on the car. There's a couple other goodies that he put on this car um, that I will show you guys. But um, the car has a, a really nice fit and finish to it. The seats are just like in my Hellcat, so I'm, I'm familiar with kind of the setup. And, uh, and guys, it was just for the right, I mean, here's the thing, $53,000 was the sticker price of the car, had 1,300 miles on it, I paid 41 grand for the car. It's a lot of car for 41 grand in, in my mind. Um, so really that was the thing that sold me. Um, I want to show you a couple other really neat things about this car and, and kind of you know, tell you a couple other things about why I, I decided on this one. There's the main reason, I mean, it's a 6.4 liter motor, puts out 485 horsepower, and it puts out uh, 475 foot-pounds of torque rated from the factory. And guys, you can see the shaker package. Obviously, you've got that hole in the hood back there. Super, super cool. But guys, he here's the thing. When you drive this car, that is what really sold me, is I drove this car in the mid-range torque on this car. It's that, it's that push the car has between, say, you know, 2,500 and 4,000 RPM. It just feels effortless. And I know the car is heavy, right? The car's like 4,200 or 4,300 pounds. I mean, it's heavy, right? But it doesn't feel heavy. It's got the electric steering on it. And this motor has a lot of low end torque. So the truth is, if you're gonna race a Mustang on the highway, guys, with a Scat Pack, one of the new Mustangs with the 10 speed, it's probably gonna pull you. That's my honest assessment. Um, but down low, driving on the street, everyday driving conditions, this car is more fun to drive. It, it doesn't feel heavy when you drive it. That motor has, has just a lot of mid-range torque. It makes the car so much fun to drive, guys. It pushes that weight effortlessly. And um, it is just a really, really fun. It's not gonna set the world on fire at the track, guys. It just doesn't. I mean, a car will run, it runs good, but in terms of just everyday driving and fun to drive, this car is where it's at. That 6.4 liter motor, that SRT uh, motor that they stick in these things is fantastic. Um, and guys, they breathe well from the factory. Dodge did a hell of a job with this car. I'm very, very pleased with the way this car performs. 
this thing actually came with this really, really cool spoiler on it. It's like an extended spoiler, and I want to kind of give you a good look at it. But boy, it really makes a presence on the back of the car. The former owner also did some blackout work here on the on the tail lights, which I think is really, really cool. And as you can see, they did. Uh, here, here's my wife's handiwork here, actually, from the last time we were out at the track. I actually tried to clean that up a little bit, and you'll be able to see it better on this side. <laughs> yep, that happened. But uh, at any rate, guys, the, the car just came really, really complete. And you can actually see this is, you know, this is actually clear broad back here. I mean, the guy did all sorts of neat stuff to this car. It's blackout on the side markers um, before I ever got a hold of it. And I mean, thousands of dollars worth of stuff, guys. And I still got a really good deal on the car. Guys, really one of the other features that I absolutely love about this uh, 2019 uh, scat pack uh, challenger shaker package is just it feels like a muscle car when you drive it I mean that with that shaker thing sticking up through the hood the way it does and the way it shifts gears especially in track mode you'd be amazed how much that thing shakes in track mode but it just it looks and feels the part of a muscle car and there's a lot of soul to these cars and it just it, it's just such a neat feeling driving it um, and it really does from outside the car I don't think the shaker thing looks nearly as pronounced as it does sitting behind the wheel and looking at that thing just sticking up through the hood like that it's really neat it, this is a really really comfortable car to sit in and drive that's the other thing the just the drivability not only the mid-range torque like I talked about a minute ago but in terms of just being a really comfortable car um, in, in my mind you know and I'm not a small guy I'm not a huge guy I mean I'm six foot essentially 200 pounds so I'm a decent sized fellow but in in terms of just the seats I mean I have always been a big advocate of these seats they put in the scat packs and the SRT cars um, it is a really comfortable place to sit I could literally drive this thing all day and be really comfortable and um, I mean guys I love the way that the challengers actually kind of wrap towards you as a driver it kind of gives you that cockpit type feel the stereo system in this car is fantastic the nav works well the backup camera works well everything in this car just really works and there's some cool features this my Hellcat doesn't even have guys it's got some it's got line lock it's got electric steering um, it's got just all sorts of goodies the thing is decked out and like I said guys for damn near 40 grand I feel like I got a hell of a car with almost no miles on it and here's the other thing um, another big factor in my decision was the fact that I already owned a Hellcat and a lot of the things such as wheels um, will flip-flop over to the Challenger, which I think is really neat. So, for example, if I ever got a new set of wheels for the Hellcat, I could simply pull the Hellcat wheels off, which, I mean, obviously is the dynamic package you can order from the factory, but I could stick those Hellcat wheels directly on this, plug and play, and it'll be perfect all day long. Um, I'm also very familiar with how to launch this car, so there's that familiarity thing that was a huge factor in why I chose to, to do this car. And I want to reiterate, guys, <clears throat> there is absolutely nothing wrong with the 2018s and 29 Mustangs, or the Camaros, or even some of the like the German sedans, such as like the Audis, and say the M4s and the M3s from BMW. I mean, there's lots of other stuff out there, guys, but you're talking about money. And I mean, for the price, for that 40 grand price point, I feel like we got a hell of a car. We are unbelievably pleased with this Scat Pack, and we can't wait to bring you more content on it, guys. Um, I mean, it is a, I won't necessarily say it's not a lot of money, but you, it is a lot of car for the money. 40 grand for a car that makes almost 500 horsepower and is this comfortable comfortable has this many features and accoutrements it's it's a really really good deal guys so we are very very happy with it and uh, we feel like we made a, a a really good decision and for those of you that have never either owned a scat pack or ridden in one it's actually amazing what a difference uh track mode makes in this car in terms of how responsive the throttle is um, the car is actually really responsive in, in track mode and yeah, see there's that mid-range torque coming in right there And when you lay into it right there 3,000 Wow, does it build up some speed?
Well, I just wanted to share a little bit of knowledge about sort of why I picked what I did. Um, once again, I, I really think that both the Mustang and the, and the Camaro and some of the other cars that are out there, they're all great cars in their own right, and they all have unique things that make them special and cool. And maybe what's right for me may not necessarily be right for everybody else. But guys, um, if you can get a hold of one of these scat packs and drive one, you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, like I said, I'm, I, I've owned fast cars my whole life, but the car is a blast to drive. It's very comfortable. It does it does a lot of things really well. It's it's a nice looking car. Um, I feel like we made a fantastic choice with this. So hopefully you guys feel the same way. I realize that you know everybody's got their unique thing. So feel free to comment in the sections below whether you think I'm right or wrong about the choice we made. Um, but it's working for us, guys. So that's the that's the key thing. Is is she loves it. I love it. It's going to be a great car for her to get out there and run on the track. And so we're just going to enjoy it, guys. We're going to start lightly modding the car. We're not going to do anything crazy. Hopefully, we can keep warranty intact for a little bit. Um, but we just plan to have a lot of fun with this little vehicle. And uh, we're already doing that. So, guys, um, don't forget, slap the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Until next time, Racer X.